Hello Year 6 and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be looking at the elements of art and by the end of today's lesson and in the future these are the things that I would like to start to see. So I'd like you to be able to name the seven elements of art. Some of you will be able to give examples of each element and then in the future I'd like to see you talking about those elements of art when you describe your own work or the work of others. Now, got a piece of paper in front of you. I'd like to you to see if you can name what you think the seven elements of art are. So pause the video, give this a go, what do you think they are? And then a little bit of a star challenge for some of you. If you can name the seven elements of art, can you tell me a bit about them? What are they? Okay, so pause the video, get that scrap of paper and give this a go. Great. We've got seven. Fabulous, welcome back. So we're gonna check if how well you did with that, naming the seven elements of art. Well done to all of you who actually were able to describe some of those elements. So fantastic, give yourself a pat on the back. So today, how many of you named them correctly? So have a look at your list and tick them as we, we go along. Did you get shape, line, form, color, space, texture, and value? And how many of those elements could you give an example of? Brilliant. Okay, some of these are a little bit trickier than others, so I expect you didn't get them all. If you did get them all, big thumbs up for me. Now, why do you think, we've looked at those elements of art, we now know what they are, why do you think it's important to know the elements of art? I'm going to give you a minute, pause the video, write down your ideas. Why is it important to know the elements of art? When you're ready, come back to me. Okay, important, why is it important? So the elements of art are really important because they give us the language, the vocabulary that we need to talk intelligently about art, about other people's art, about our own art. And they also help us to be more successful when we are making art because if you include all of these elements and you think about including these elements into your artwork, your artwork will generally be more successful. So if you said, said something along those lines, absolutely fantastic. So today, um, I want you to pause the video. You're going to watch this video. I've included a YouTube clip. It's not a very long video. It's quite a short, punchy video. So you may want to um, pause it at times, um, fast forward, rewind as you are watching it. I've also included a video help sheet. You can either print out this video help sheet and write on top of it as you watch the video, or you can create your own video help sheet as you're watching the video. This is just so that, to help you make notes. So I know some of you don't have a printer, so if you don't have a printer, you're just gonna get a blank piece of paper, and as you're watching the video, you're going to create your own sheet with the gentleman that's doing the video. I hope you enjoy it. So stop now, get your help sheet, get your blank piece of paper, watch the video and come back to me. Great, I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you a little bit more of an insight into the elements of art, what they are. And you can now show me some examples of those elements of art. So to test your knowledge, we're now gonna move on to task two. For task two, I've added a Jamboard to Google Classroom. Now, this is the first time I've added a Jamboard. I have, I'm just hoping that it will work. Um, give me a thumbs up if it does. I really do hope it does work. So you're going to now test your knowledge. You test your knowledge from the video that you watched on YouTube. You're also going to test your knowledge. Um, you may use the help sheet if you want to. Extra star challenge for some of you. Don't use the help sheet and still try and complete the Jamboard. When you've completed the Jamboard, um, you can upload it to Google Classroom so I can see how you have done. So, next job, you're going to do the Jamboard and then you're going to come back to me so I can tell you what we're going to do next week. Great, you're back. Um, how did you do on that Jamboard? At the end, I've included a, um, a 
mark sheet for the jam board so you can go back and you can mark your jam board and see how well you have done now next week in part two we're going to be making our own elements board and this is a really useful tool that we are going to be using in class when we're talking about art and when we're making art so it's very important that you do this and you keep it in a safe place and you bring it to um, school when we're back at school so for next week's lesson you will need an A4 piece of paper a ruler you will also actually need you may need a pair of scissors I didn't write this on the um, on the what you will need sheet but I'm just thinking about it so you will need a pair of scissors eraser some colored pencils or some felt tips whatever you have at home but some colors would really be quite helpful so look forward to seeing you next week when we make our elements board and remember to upload everything to Google Classroom including your help sheet I look forward to seeing you next week hope you had enjoyed today's lesson and I'll speak to you soon bye for now